Uh. <laughs> oh. Dad. Oh, you. No, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, you don't. I'm so freaking close. And you're. Damn, ape. Oh, my God. You're so close. First Apex Guild. What the hell was that? Nope, too fast. Darn. relatively limited storage and um, we have 394 branches that kind of sounds like a lot of branches it had not occurred to me that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter um I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Mm. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. It's almost gone. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho II. <laughs> Ends King Sancho II's scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will by King Sancho. I am no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish. This is going great. This is fantastic. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. <laughs> what? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Yes! <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? For science. This is bad. Okay. 
getting caught is bad. That was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. Oh, they've still... <gasps> this is our first direct sighting of an actual ancient guardian. That's so cool. I love it. There's a lot of wolves. I'm getting pretty low on oxygen. How did... to know how that did not kill them. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ah, golden duck, cracking job. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other. There we go. Oh shoot! No! No! <laughs> Damn it! It's a good thing I saved recently. Oh, you! Ow. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no. At first, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes, it's true. It's true. It seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from Blue.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. I'm very glad that we don't have to be late today. I thought we were going to have to be a little bit late because uh, the air conditioner was being repaired, but it's all done perfectly on time. So we're going to carry on and do some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm thinking it might be roughly time that we... Well, I think we might have a shrine to take care of that I don't think I started last time, but... I wouldn't mind trying to focus in and see if I can do the water shrine sometime today. We'll have to see how that goes. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but we'll 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 see and we'll deal with it. So let's get in here. I think everything's working. Where are we? Oh, <laughs> right, we were in here, uh, and this was going to be a little bit of a problem, wasn't it? Um, I was trying to track down a shrine. I think I'm going to need some more wooden planks, and I believe there were some back there. So let me just see if I can... That'll do. Goblin horn. Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully that'll work. Not under. Come on, Link. There you go. Hmm. Come on, there we go. Yeah, so I want to prioritize getting the shrines done because then I will feel fairly confident that we're getting to the point where I can wrap up the game anytime I want because we actually don't have very many streams left before Baldur's Gate 3 comes out, believe it or not. We are quickly reaching that point. forgot. Oh, I also forgot that. Crap. I needed to get up. Well, let me use this new platform I've moved into position because there was stuff in the water that I needed to look at getting. What's this? Rusty Claymore. Rock. Also rock. Okay. Um... Well... We're stuck in a damp cave, so I'm thinking we use that. What's the best way to climb straight up? Probably over here. Hopefully. Okay. 
Yeah, that's not going to work very well. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Oh. Arrow recovery. Okay, okay. And a bomb. We're going to have to rearrange my platforms so that I have a foothold at the bottom. Just wait till my stamina's full. Now, wait a minute. Nope, I'm wearing it. Okay, good. Should be fine then. Nope, stop that. Nope, okay, hang on. It's really being stubborn. So let's try that again. We're gonna jump gonna jump it's not gonna want to jump Gotcha. Good job, guys. Hey, Anstara. Hey, Ben Fleet. So I think my monitor may be too old to be used with new tech. What's the problem? You don't have the correct connection, or is there a problem with the actual image? What's the deal? Nothing is displaying. That would be a bit of a problem. How old is the monitor, out of uh, curiosity? If it's a few years, I can't imagine that would be the problem then, Ben Fleet, unless maybe you got it secondhand. But I've had a couple of the displays I'm using for like 10, 12 years or more. I think it would be more likely that there's just an actual problem with the monitor itself. Like maybe a fault or something like that. I don't think it's aged out. Okay, I think we're going to need you, Nobu's help here. 
You know, Boo, where are you? Not. That's better. And get that freaking windstorm out of my face. No, that's not going to do it. You've had it a few years. Oh, you did buy it used. It works with your laptop. Um, uh, hmm. Well, that is weird. I still don't think it's aged out, but it's definitely possible that there is some kind of compatibility uh, you know, issue at work. That does suck. I'm very sorry to hear that. Okay. So, for those of you who were not here at the very beginning of stream... Oh, what the... I'm confused. I was not expecting to end up outside. I, mean, I kind of expected there to be an opening to the outside. I didn't expect to actually be outside. Huh. So there's supposed to be a cave in here somewhere. Or a, a shrine. Oh, that's, that's all right. It still sucks that you have to do it though, Ben. Hopefully the new one works well. Do you have any ideas in mind for what you're gonna replace that one with? But anyway, as I was starting to say earlier, before the cave and the shrine situation distracted me, nearby down below. Okay. Oh, so it's an upgraded sensor over the one in Tears or in uh, Breath of the Wild. That's really nice. Now I wonder if that was just the wrong cave. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to start poking around, seeing if we can at least locate the water temple. I mean, locate's actually, if we're getting technical, the wrong term, because I know pretty much exactly where it is. It's a sky island. But I'm still going to need to actually, you know, go there and learn how to access it and all that fun stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. This is the same cave that we were just in. So it's got to be down here somewhere. Did I miss a turn off? That's not a turn off. Now I. Oh, wait, I didn't actually kill those things last time, did I?
I wonder if I missed another passage that I should have taken. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I didn't notice this. problem is there is a distinct lack of a shrine in here get him shoot I'm not gonna get him with this axe I need the spear get down here Do I still have my... I don't. Damn it. Yeah, Zelda. Kinda gotta expect weird beasties. Which should be really nice if I had any arrows whatsoever. Okay, I don't think I've got a choice. I'm going to have to make a thing. Let's get a sturdy long stick. I need a beam emitter. Okay, that's not actually helping. Hey, Callan Ray, what's going on? Good to see you. That also works. Unfortunately, that does not help with locating the thing. here unless maybe save okay this is promising we didn't find this last time Ooh, chest here don't mind if I do An anti-air rocket? Yeah, basically. Okay. Royal shield. Now, we've got one of those guys there, and that's going to be a pain in the butt, because I don't have a thing. There's the shrine. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> uh, 
Bamatok Shrine. New monitor, but awesome, Ben. Very awesome. Oh, 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 I thought that was a thing. It was not a thing. Okay. We did it. We got there. Hey, Mad. I am having a pretty good Friday so far. How are you doing? Oh, Raru's Blessing. Okay, so this is going to be one of those. Big battery. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Good to see you. It's better that I know that my old monitor won't work with my PC now instead of when, just in case something happens to my new monitor. Yeah. Yep, definitely true. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. One more and I gain a new heart. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay. Okay. So if we want to take on the water temple or at least see if we can make some progress in figuring out how to access it, we need to head back north into Zora's domain. had to put this here for a reason, right? Okay, this is pretty fun. <laughs> I've got to say, I like this. Yeah. 
It doesn't so much like the uphill side, though. Yep, that that's it. That's it, Kellen Ray. With a control stick, of course. That was pretty good. <laughs> that looks very much like a Korok thing. I'm gonna dive in. Oh, hello. It should, Kalanre, but it would work on different surfaces better. The sled works pretty well on grass and on sand, whereas the minecart would work better on, like, uh, rock and such. Damn it. That's awkward. Not the most maneuverable thing ever. You know, in some ways, I might actually like that better than the uh, the truck things that I usually use. This is actually really cool. Probably need two fans on it, just because you don't really get the... Uh, it, it's, it's... As it is, it's too hard to get uphill. But... Overall... That was really good. I'm surprised I made as much progress as I did. Also, I don't know that I really necessarily need to be here in Hotno Village, but that's okay. This is not going well. What's the problem, sir? Hey. Oh, it's you again. I tell you, there's no rest for a farmer. Even at dusk, I gotta make my rounds and check on the veggies. Before, folks came to Hotno Village for the veggies, but now they show up for that gaudy get-up CC makes. You came to town for veggies, right? A straight arrow. I like that. <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. Hot no is its veggies, after all. I focus on growing pumpkins myself, but there's other fields and a couple of farms up the hill, too. And I suppose nowadays we've got those weird sculptures to gawk at, too. Point is, there's plenty to check out around our village if you take the time to look. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie, but I haven't had much luck so far. Still, if I quit so soon, I'd be a poor excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I now?
It's one thing or another with this PC. I know that feeling so well, Ben. And now we understand why people buy swamp boats and hovercrafts. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I've never been tempted by a swamp boat. But I'd be lying through my teeth if I never saw the appeal of a hovercraft. I will admit that. I am curious how much better it would be if I did have the two fans. Oh my god, it's so fast. Ugh. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> it becomes a fast-moving weapon, is what happens. Oh, no. Sorry, stop that. Good evening. Isn't it just lovely out tonight? Even the stars are strutting this stuff. The moment I met Cece at Hotno Village, I was reborn as a fashionista. That's why I must find whatever clothing Misko hid in the cave that runs through Walnut Mountain. So I'll be headed to Hotno Village and set out from there. Uh... A bright future awaits me, I know it. I just have to go out and grab it by the frills. Ebon Mountain, Madorna Mountain, Walnut Mountain. Would that be this cave here that I've already been to and presumably looted? Sorry. Yeah, it's still not that great at uphill stuff. Kilton, I see you sneaking around up there. Okay, where are we? We're here. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to hop out of the vehicle and climb over the wall. that okay you know what I think this is awesome enough that I need to add that to auto build as a favorite favorites are full um I think we can cancel that one. Now, where'd you go? There you are. Nope.
Sorry. Let me just double check the map. It is Kakariko we need to go. We don't need to go through. I don't think sleds are going to work as boats, are they? We might actually be easier passing through Kakariko Village than trying to get through the cleft in the mountains. Ugh. Come on. God damn it. And there we see the weakness in the design. Also, it's not very good on rock, apparently. <laughs> it works, but not terribly, incredibly well. No, oh, but it should be fine here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Sorry, out of the way, excuse me, coming through. Okay, it's a little bit better going uphill. It's a little better. I don't think with the single fan it would have made it up this slope at all. where things get a bit tight. Oh, it actually works. Okay. Probably still easiest if I just kind of manually lug it through the village. Okay, here we go. As much as I like having the cannon, he is kind of getting in the way and destabilizing everything a little bit. I think we're going to dismiss him for the moment. Okay, so we cleared Kakariko. Now it looks like we're headed back up this way, so... Let's see how this goes.
Ooh, it's fast. to go this way. Sorry, bird. Yep, this way. Ooh. It does run down the battery, doesn't it? I'm kind of getting used to having such a high battery capacity, but it does get there. Okay, now let's double check the route. So we're following this all the way up here, and then we're hanging a right. Or, alternatively, we can off-road it. Right. Yeah, whoa! Oh god. Yeah, back here. Sorry. Ooh. A shrine. Interesting. I really want to get to Zora's domain, though. I'm going to pass that up for the time being. Now, is this the right road? Yes, it is. Okay, I just want to wait here because I'm pretty certain there's one of those, uh, you know, the battle taluses on the other side of the river here. And I don't really want to be running out of battery when we're zipping past it. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't work on wooden planks either. Crap. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so we're going right. Oh, this isn't the bridge, actually. I don't think the battle talus is here. coming through. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, hey, we meet again. The story goes that Misko's legendary clothing collection is hidden in caves throughout the land. As a devotee of fashion, I intend to find every last piece. Oh. They say that several of Misko's treasures are hidden in the many caves of, Lo of Lanaryu. So it's a shame the walls of those caves are wet and slippery and slimy and blah because of all the water in there. If you think I'm bringing any part of my wardrobe into that muck, think again. If only there were some chic outfit that let me climb walls without slipping. You mean like the part that I'm wearing right now? Shrine detected. Alright, where are we going? Looks like we want to hang a left. Oh, I think we're coming up onto that big Akala bridge that's heavily occupied by monsters. Oh, and that's going to be doubly awkward because that's going to be a stone bridge, isn't it? Oh no, that one's that one's up here. We don't necessarily have to go there, do we? Oh, shoot. Oh, we're going the wrong way entirely. We didn't want to take that left. We wanted to go the other way. Wait. Wait for me. Well, that's a good thing. Avoiding that Akala bridge would be for the best. Wait, nope. There we go. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's had a fantastic week so far. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh. I'm very grateful to that tree for the stop. Oh boy. This is probably where this starts to lose its usefulness. I don't know how good this is going to be for maneuvering around these trails. Oop. Yep, okay. We are officially done with that vehicle now, sadly. That was really fun, though. I really like that. I was excited, now I'm bummed. Well, more annoyed than bummed? Yeah, understandable. Oh, right. I need to get more arrows as well. Ah! You... What a jerk. Let's go, oops, full stealth.
Oh, hello. Ow. Roasted bass bat? Wow. I'll take those. Okay, I have a few arrows now. They never give up, do they? Four minute, actually closer to five minute warning, guys. Approximately five minutes, and we're going to be taking our first break of the day. Looks like there's a cave nearby. We might have to... Oh, would that be the cave, I wonder? It's hard to say. Let's find out. Oh, it's not much... Oh, there is a cave. I kind of wish I had more arrows for this. Cobble Woods Cave. Back. <laughs> oh, he took my axe. Shield was stolen. I really need more food, don't I? Did I? Oh crap, I just threw my weapon. <laughs> Zora Sword. Okay, but I need to get rid of a weapon anyway. I don't really want the bouncy stick, although I love the name. 
I want that back again. Thank you. Oh, the bubble frog is over this way. There's a lot of mining in this cave. a lot of good stuff that we picked up there. to continue this battle in just a few minutes because a break is about to begin. I'm going to just get up and make some more coffee. So if you guys need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a really good time to do it. And I will meet you back here in just a few. Oh, whoop. Whoops. No. Oh my god. Damn it, and Stara. Ah, oh, Jesus. Make little help here. was that season um I'm bigger than him I'm no bully mm. give me some more lemonade you little chiseler give me some more lemonade you little chiseler that'll be a nickel what? You idiot! This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you! Oh, okay, so Irenius finally arrived. We can found our religion. As is... Tradition and in accordance with prophecy, we will create our custom religion, Amism. I'm curious to see where it's gonna dump my ship after I do this. Oh god. Oh, what did you. Are you freaking serious, game? What the hell? It... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Get back down here. No. Damn it. <laughs> Link? Link, where did you disappear to? I missed my ride. There. Now it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go which way, whichever way they want, and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. It's made out of people. They are making food out of people, and we know that. We are actually okay with that. Oh, wow. This game suddenly got so dark. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. You know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. What might this be? Locked. Got it. <laughs> Utgard, what the hell? <laughs> How did you manage that? All right. What do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god. What on earth is this? Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Okay, I am back. Let me just get back into the game. There we go. Get him. Good job. Yep. Lysel shield. I don't think I have any worse shields, so we're going to have to leave that one. Spear. 
Oh, right. I need a new hammer now, don't I? Let me see what I can make one with. I'm starting to run low on these black moblin horns. We're going to have to fight more moblins. Um... That'll do. Oh, no, that's the part we were at before. Where did we just murder the thing? Where was the thing murder? I think it was this cave entrance here, wasn't it? Or this passageway? Yeah, there's the chest. Oh, crap. Where's my clingy armor? Was that not the cave? How many arrows do I have? Twelve. Get him, guys. Ow. Good job. Get him. Good job. Okay, that was technically three caves, and now we've done them all, or I guess three entrances to a single cave is probably more appropriate. I don't feel like dealing with this guy. We just had to fight several of them. We're going this way. In theory, we have to go that way. You've got some skill. They hardly posed a challenge to you, let alone a threat. 
Perhaps it's fate that we were to fight together like this. Your bravery deserves a reward. Take it. Ooh. I'm glad our paths have crossed yet again. Our conversations are a highlight of my continued hunt for the bubble frog. Reports of a bubble frog sighting in a nearby cave drew me to this area. But I cannot find the cave in question. It should be close, but alas, the report was less detailed than one might hope. Hmm, confounded bubble frog. It must have heard I was coming for it and hidden itself away somewhere. That's <laughs> definitely it. But on my reputation as a monster hunter, I swear I will bring it to light. Well, you could look for the little shiny glowy guy over this way. Let's see if maybe he has something to do with the cave in question. Stop climbing, Link. Oh, rip axe. Now I need something more to make an axe out of. Oh, that's what's his face. What have I got? Strong Zonite Longsword, but it's kind of getting low on health there. Hmm. I don't know. Orin Bridge Cave. in case I need some help climbing or something. Aid from a bridge. This might be useful. Oh, I think I see what we need this for. Sneaky. Okay. I have to stand on that so that I can ascend through that roof. And they made it a grating so that you know you can ascend through it. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see what you're trying to ascend into. Nifty. Oh, Silger's Claymore will do very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Gimme. Okay, now. I have no shortage of Black Book Goblin horns. Blue-maned Lionel Saberhorn. That's... I wish I knew at a glance. I know this one makes a pretty good axe handle. Or axe blade, rather. I wish I knew if that one does. I think it's more spear-like. That looks like it should be more axe-like. 
Let's let's risk it. We're gonna do it. Oh no! I put it on the freaking spear. Ugh. Oh well. Well, that's okay. That's fine. I'll do the traditional axe. So now I've got both. I hear a bubble frog, I think. Yes, I do. Oh, how did you not die? Excuse me, sir. How dare. I love this game. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it, it's a fantastic game. How are you doing? Welcome on in. I finished Breath of the Wild for the first time earlier this year. Oh, that wasn't where I expected to go. That, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I finished Breath of the Wild for the first time earlier this year, and this is a true treat. Because as much as I loved Breath of the Wild, this is definitely a heck of a lot better. Not so fast, sirs. Oh, you're not dead. Impressive. Ow. Excuse me. I really need to do some cooking soon. you look at that? That's so convenient. Only have one shrine left, but cannot find it. Do you know of easy ways to find them? Only ones that you likely already know about. Uh, just give me half a second here to drop that and take that. If you take a look at your map of the Underdark... You will note, if you compare it to the map of the surface world, that all of your light routes... Okay, that's a bad example. Let's go to a more trafficked area. The light routes are almost always precisely underneath shrines in the surface area. So you can use your light routes as a method to find shrines that you haven't located yet. And you can use shrines that you've discovered to find light routes that you haven't discovered yet. I've gone over the map 10 times and it's so frustrating. The ones you're looking for are probably in caves. It's also worth talking to Robbie and Pura to uh, upgrade your Pura pad if you have not already done so. I'm sure you probably already have. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? Okay, let's do a little cooking. I desperately need food. Dropping a lurk while we're getting things to work here at your mini land party. Very nice. Sounds like a plan to me. Energizing glazed meat. Oh, that does stamina too. Very nice. The sweetness of the honey permeates the meat, giving it a complex taste profile. That actually sounds really delicious. Okay, so that was good. Hmm. 
Nope, nope, stop that. Um, energizing tomato mushroom stew. Hardy tomato mushrooms, do you? Nice. Definitely did things backwards in this game. Nearly cleared the depths before going to the surface. Wow. That is actually pretty awesome. Tough steamed tomatoes. Warding steamed tomatoes. I'll just do this one. I need some stuff that's just regular food. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Steamed tomatoes, full recovery, plus four bonus hearts. That's a good one. I'm going to do that a few more times, I think. Now, what was that recipe, actually? That is hearty truffle, tomato, apple... Raspberry and greens. Oh, shoot. I ran out of the truffles. Oh, well. I can use a regular hearty truffle, though. And I'm going to use a golden apple. recovery plus two. Do you go for 100% completion in this game or just beat Ganondorf? Just beat Ganondorf, but I'm doing a little bit more of 100% in this one than I usually do because I've been uploading my shrine solutions to YouTube, which means I'm not technically required to do every shrine, but I'm sort of soft required to do every shrine <laughs> because I've started, so I have to kind of continue. Not that that's a problem. The shrines are part of my, like, they're the biggest, most favorite part of the game for me. Uh, and, of course, I'm going to do all of the different, uh, the, uh, the temples as well. So I've done two of the temples, and I've done just a little bit more than precisely half the shrines so far. The other day I hit, what was it, I guess 76 is the halfway point with 152 shrines. So I'm probably pretty close to 80 shrines done now. So I've got a few more to go, but we're getting there. Hardy bass. And let's do acorn and goat butter. Hardy Meat Skewer, full recovery, plus three. 
How do you feel about the sky? I really enjoy the fact that there are a lot of the crystal shrines up there. I really like those ones. So I enjoy doing the shrines in the sky. How are you doing, Greeny? It's good to see you. Let me get you shout outs. Everybody should be going and following Greeny. He's been a long time friend of the... You're waking up? Yeah, you must be pretty tired. Did you end up finishing the game last night? Or was I too tired and remembered I... To remember what's going on. I know you've been on an absolute tear lately, just finishing everything. I was in the... Oh, you were in the final cutscene. Nice. Three games complete this week. Three big games, too. What was it? Celasta, The Witcher 3, and now this one as well? Learnings of the Zora Part 1, The Waters of Zora's Domain as Told by Prince Sidon. Long, long ago, right here in Loraniu, incredible transformations, both subtle and drastic in nature, shaped the land. The tall mountains birthed clouds. These clouds cried tears of rain, and this rain filled our deep valleys past the brim. In time, this overflowing water became the Zora River, which bred waterfalls that fell and nourished the vast Loraniu wetlands. Perhaps it was inevitable that my Zora ancestors who wandered in search of precious water would finally settle here. The mountains of Lenariu are blessed with high-quality stone. The structures built from said stone are solid, yet refined. Just like the Zora in our domain, our buildings exist in harmony with the water. It is a beautiful symbol of our way of life. If you go to the edge of the domain, close your eyes, and listen closely, you shall be greeted by the gentle sound of water. This kind, soothing sound is a testament to the happy life that the Zora are so grateful to have found here. As one born of noble Zora blood, royal Zora blood, my duty is as clear as it is unshakable. I, Sidon, swear here and now, I shall protect our home with my life here, my very life, that the gentle sound of water may never cease in our beloved domain. Then you did the demo for Sea of Stars. Oh, very nice. That demo is on Switch. You might enjoy it. Pretty short, old-school, pixel-style RPG. Very cool. I actually think I'm semi-familiar with it. Not the demos as such, but I've heard of the game, and I'm already interested in it. It does seem like it would be the kind of thing I'd enjoy. Oh. We have more friends over there. For certain definitions of the word friend. But it also looks like we've got a cave here. Let's see how much of a bad idea it would be to poke our heads in this way. Damn it! Rallis Channel. What is... Oh! Speaking of the crystals, that's cool. I don't suppose they give you a control stick. Oh, they do. 
That's very considerate of them. I guess that's where we're going. I might have a new favorite ground vehicle, Greeny. Turns out that a land sled with two fans on the back does a heck of a good job getting you around really quickly. Oh, right. I forgot. I never actually interacted with the crystal. Seek the crystal connected to the beam. Well, that's going to be tough, but I'll do my best. And offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. The Rallis Channel Crystal. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. The Rallis Channel Crystal Complete. Let's see what we got here. Raru's Blessing, Joniu Shrine. Nice. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offered this light that will cleanse you of evil. Oh, and that means I get a new heart, too. Also, I think this might be a speed record. Shortest video I'm going to be uploading to YouTube as far as the shrine videos go. That took no time at all. Roast Koroks? I have do not. No, I do not. I actually tend to, more often than not, I ignore them completely. If they happen to be very convenient, I might help them out when they're stuck and trying to reach their friend. If I happen to be going the right way. Otherwise, I just kind of... Vaguely promise I will get back to them at some point. Huh. 
The time people spend torturing them is crazy. Rockets for them are your favorite. Whatever works for you. I have a hammer, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I probably should help the Koroks a bit more often just so that I can get my capacity up. Oh, shoot. They didn't give me a control stick on this side and my boat is gone now. this way, if I remember correctly. Whoops. have we got in here? That looks like that's about it. Oh, wait. What happened to my boat? Where'd you go? Oh, crap. The current stole it. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to go out the other way. Wonder that took a while. We're way up there. Okay. Didn't we enter? Yeah, we entered all the way back down here. Holy crap. Probably easier to get to the city just by going this way at this point. I can actually technically do that, can't I? <laughs> the last fraction of a second. Okay, so look, where where were we? The Nakluda Sky Crystal. It seems you can enter a Shrine of Light if you offer up a crystal. Wait, what? Did we not? I don't remember why I didn't do this one. Well, I will worry about that another time. Q. 
key is born of water. Near some ruins at the foot of the dueling peaks, a steward construct said this riddle would guide you to a sacred shrine. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine will appear. Okay, those are all the shrine quests. Still, one of these days, got to get back and do the gourmets gone missing. I don't remember what I needed to do that one. It was probably easy. This is it. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. You learned the mark of the king is the Zora King's scale. But what of the land of the skyfish and droplet? Okay, let's check the map. Clues to the sky. Got all the weapon slots because you're panicking about fighting Ganondorf. I didn't even finish Breath of the Wild. Did everything but Ganon and the main DLC quests. I don't want to say too much. I will just say that I have complete faith in your ability to finish it. You'll be fine. You have 260 hours in Breath of the Wild. I'm not even sure how to figure out how much time I have. Where does it tell you? Yeah, I'll worry about it later. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how to do any of those fancy schmancy combat moves either. I just bash stuff till they die. Yoshi. Oh, up there, right. Profile, I assume. Nope, don't start. Okay, well, I know at least I've got more than 120 hours. I mean, I have all the uh, I have all the vods for Breath of the Wild and for Tears of the Kingdom, so I could calculate a rough total. I did play a little bit of offline Tears of the, or uh, Breath of the Wild, so it wouldn't be 100% accurate, but it would be at least a rough idea, a pretty exact idea of exactly how much I streamed it. Link, I'm so grateful that you helped out with our investigation of the ruins. Thanks to you, I can finally give my father a good report. Oh, 
That said, it is a little embarrassing when he hears a report of mine and starts jumping with joy. That's well, better than cursing you out for your incompetence. I try to use my shield, but I mash buttons so much it's only occasionally successful. I pretty much never use shields. I don't even shield surf. Hmm? Uh huh, Link. Did you figure anything out? What? Could it truly be the king's scale is actually the mark of the king? If we apply that understanding to the words written upon the stone slate, we would get. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the king's scale. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. Still, the land of the skyfish and the droplet found there, I have no idea what those could be referring to. If you must shoot an, shoot an arrow through this droplet from the land of the skyfish, first you must find the land of the skyfish. I have never heard of such a place. Perhaps it is truly in the shape of a fish, as the te text describes? Hmm, I am quite stumped on this one. If only I could use my fins to soar, then I could look down upon the whole of everything and figure this out. If you could do such a thing, then we would have no need to figure out this mystery in the first place. That is true. I wonder if there's a way to find them from here on the surface. I did a certain Colosseum last night at the start of stream. I was happy I managed to beat it on the second try. Five Lynels in a row? Fifth one was a silver Lynel in stone armor? Oh my god, Greeny. I've never beaten a single Lynel in either of these games. That's impressive as heck. Land of the Skyfish. But what of the Land of the Skyfish and Droplet? And they want me to try to find it from the ground. She beat the last three Lynels on three hearts and no food to replenish? Oh my god. Meanwhile, I go up against a weak Lynel with full armor, full hearts, and I just get trounced in half a second. Skyfish. See, I just always assumed that was referring to the Zora's domain at all, because they are basically they are the fish people. But I guess they're not really skyfish, they're land fish.
Oh, that's one of these. I haven't done one of these in a while. That was a much less impressive entrance than I was hoping to make. That's a little better. Thank you. Ow. That was very rude, sir. How dare you. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Is that it? That can't be it, right? Oh, no. Okay, we got another guy over that way. There we go. Oh, and still you, too. Ow. There we are. It's going good, Sketchy. How are you doing? By the way, uh, we are less than five minutes away from the next break. I like to take a break every hour or so. Get up and move around a little bit. Maybe refill my drinks, whatever I gotta do. I highly recommend you folks do the same. Lionel Boomerang. That's a pretty good boomerang. Let's ditch this one. There we are. You love the scammers? You just got a series of messages? Yeah, I actually had a, a scammer, I guess a few weeks ago, try to convince me that I needed to immediately take care of this thing because... The guy had, apparently, accidentally reported my Steam account. So I did a quick Google check, and apparently that's a really common scam. He kept going on about how I needed to talk to one of the Steam devs, or they were going to delete my account, and there was nothing else I could possibly do to prevent it. Anybody ever contacts you with a situation like that, they're a scammer. Don't talk to anybody about anything. Don't give them any information, by the way. I see you have a really super low follow count. May I offer a step-by-step -step process to increase your follower count and viewer account because no one is watching you? <laughs> the thing I always like to do when I get ones like that is uh, check their own following count because it's usually lower than mine. Get him. Murder. Oh. Well, okay. Not the kind of murder I was going for. I wanted the loot, but oh well. Forty-six followers. Oh, wow. You don't stream and you have three followers, you think? Yeah. Jerk. 
the Zelfos tale. Nice, Greeny. They don't offer any more guidance, do they? You relayed King Dorofin's story to Sidon. Both Princess Zelda's trail and the destructive sludge connect to the sky above the domain. Your objectives align with Sidon's. If you find a clue about the watery bridge connecting the Zora to the sky, you should let him know. I wonder if talking to Dorofin counts as having gotten a clue of some sort. We now know that the mark of the king written on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the floating rock in the shape of a droplet found in the land of the skyfish. If it is called the land of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Okay, so that's a big fat sinking no. I mean, I guess I could, I could just actually search the sky a little bit. I don't have any better ideas. They kind of intimated that you should be able to find it from the ground, but that doesn't mean that you have to find it from the ground. Oh, crap. Guys, ads are in progress. I will be right back. No! Don't get back here! What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting the song. <laughs> Oh my god, Serana! <laughs> ah! Jeez! Oh god! That was not the best play- Oh jeez! Oh my god! Um...
They still got meat. <laughs> Not about you. Get out of my face. My god, it's still only forty eight. Thank you. guys I am back sorry about that I let that one get away from me that's happening more and more with this game it's very addictive all right now we want to head up into the sky You do have a map? Yes, but I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Oh. None of these look exactly like a drop. That does look very much like a Death Star, though. See what we got here. Wing, cart. Oh no! <laughs> Beam emitter. Okay. I'm not sure of the exact number, must love pickles, but it is a fair number more. A flying device. Interesting. I'm curious about this side over here, though. Okay. I think what we're going to do, I was tempted to go there and get the fan directly. I think instead, we're going to fly over here.
This oh whoops. No. Not quite. This time I will actually attach it. And then we're gonna fly over and grab the the fan. Before we fall off, There we are. Just did this shrine, you like watching how others do them? That's why I'm uploading all of my solutions to YouTube. I'm not claiming they're the best solutions but they always tend to be different. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Crystal that glows with light that purges evil and purifies with its radiance. Three more, and I get two hearts instead of one. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, nice! The remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather for them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages. This is the first time I've actually entered the bottom section of one of the Death Stars.
Let's see if we can get over here. I'm not certain we will. No, I don't think we will. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Well, that's rude. How dare you attack me in mid-air? Oh, let's see if I can make that one. Ah! That did not help. Fine. We're not making that one. Where did I put that tower? Oh, that's way over that way. Or, oh, no, it's just over here. They're still after me? Rude. Let's see if they can keep my trail when I zip up with the tower. I bet they can't fly up that quickly. Okay, and it looks like there is a whole load of big fat nothing up here, so that's cool. Well, there's Dazzle Fruit, there's that at least. we can get back over there without the interruption this time. Nope. That's a big fat... No, they're coming back again. That's fun. Not so fast, sir. Ugh. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Okay. I guess we're taking the express elevator down then. Well, at least this one landed here and not in the Underdark. Looks very cave like. Rallis Channel, Lenariu Great Spring. What the? Oh! This is that same cave! Well, that's fun. Whoops.
a memory popped up on one of your things? What kind of memory and what kind of things? So officially I beat tears today on the 21st, right? Yes. According to the law of time zones, that should be accurate. climbing back so we're just gonna pop back oh no wait <laughs> that was the wrong teleport target I've just sent us back inside the cave exactly 10 years ago on the 21st you beat Skyward Sword very nice congratulations that's kind of a fun coincidence Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can reach from the sky here. I kind of suspect not. But maybe I'll spot something if I fly more over in this direction. Oh, low gravity area. That's fun. A very small low gravity area. At least small in that direction. Droplet, a tear shape. Okay. Maybe there's no chance it might be the Nazca line. Also noticed um, that looks rather fish like. Not sure how I would actually get there. That's definitely not in range of the uh, the thing. I need arrows. Nope. 
Now, is this still gonna work? No, it's... Damn it, not acting like... Crap. It's still spear-like, even though it's got the axe handle or the axe blade on it. Oh well. I think I'm in the wrong area for the Nazca lines. Um. Well. I'll have a look around, see what I can find. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. Sorry. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. <sighs> but you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rita leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. Something I'd like to show you all. Oh, interesting. Stand with me. I need all your aid.
gather here, swear on our lives, to serve Robin, the King of Night. That was pretty cool. I like that one. <laughs> memories have been added to the memories log. Okay, so we've confirmed that that had nothing to do with what I needed to do. But it was worth doing anyway. That was pretty nifty. Okay, the Sage's Vow. Now, where was that? Okay, so the Fish Rock looks like it's over there. So let's go back to Sedan's area. And I guess I'm just going to have to look around underneath there and see if there's a path that I can use to ascend. Okay, so let's see. That would be right here. Let's see what happens if we get closer. See what's directly above there. It kind of looks like it might be that massive crap up there. And actually, now looking at it, I kind of thought that was another instance of a garbage waterfall that we won't be able to use. Oh, it's that time again, is it? Okay. But it, it actually looks like it might be a proper waterfall that I can swim up. Catfish wins! Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, folks. How are you doing, Catfish? What were you up to this evening? Thank you for the shout-out, Greeny. I really appreciate that. How was Hollow Knight? Catfish, thank you so much for another resub. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Uh, Happy Friday. Today? Happy Friday to you too. Folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single player story driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I've been known to do a Lego build. This is my current build in progress. It is Lego Star Wars BD1. Uh, I haven't been able to work on it for a little while because it is missing a few critical pieces. And... They are being shipped to me, but they haven't arrived yet. We will resume construction on him when we get those pieces in place. Now, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And uh, hopefully this won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 69 four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't. There you go. That's a bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. So thank you, thank you so much for bringing your folks in. So tell me, how was Hollow Knight? How did that treat you? What's going on? How's it going, Timmy Spackler? Good to have you here. And yeah, Greeny, I think, uh, like I said, I think you have a pretty decent shot at completing the uh, Dishonored game. I don't have any concept of how far... You oh, oh... Oh, that's interesting. That doesn't go all the way to the ground. That kind of complicates my plan of swimming up the waterfall, doesn't it? But, that might go some way to explaining why they give you the makings of a balloon in this area. I didn't have my save file on my new computer, but I'm starting a new playthrough and trying out the new Pale Corp mod. Okay, I'm not familiar with the game. I trust that is a mod for... Uh, what's it called? Nope, hang on. For Hollow Knight, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Here we go. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Crowd control for this game? I don't believe crowd control can work on this game. I don't even think they could possibly uh, implement it. It would have to be... Oh, that's not going to work. You would have to be running it through emulation so that you could have it on a PC instead of running it on console. I'm sure eventually they'll get that working, but as far as I'm aware, there is no crowd control for Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, yeah, uh, crowd control is turned on in my extensions, but uh, I'm using that one for Fallout 4. Which I sometimes play during my bonus streams when I do night streams. Usually on Sundays, though that's never a guarantee. Um, what was I going to do? I needed a Zonai device. I need a flame emitter. And probably a control stick as well. I need to go back to one of the vending machines that throws those out. Okay. the balloon. I discovered something interesting regarding the Zora armor. Even if you just fly into a waterfall, fall the the armor will automatically start swimming up. Interesting. Oh, 
Okay. I think this is going to have to be activated directly under the waterfall if I want any hope of it actually working. Or pretty darn close to it, at least. It does seem to give you a little bit of control over the direction, but not enormous amounts. So where's that coming down? Right over there? Have to be as close as I can get to it, at least. It's probably close enough, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. There we go. You are correct. Floating Scales Island. That sounds very much like Skyfish to me. I guess instead of wasting all of my stuff, I could just use one of these. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I'm going to clean the place up a little bit first. Okay. Guys, um, I'm not sure what I might have missed, but I just reconnected to the chat room, so if you said anything in the last moment or so, I will have missed that. Okay, let's check the log. Not the Sage's Vow. We want 
clues. No. There we go. Clues to the sky. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Okay, so that's the cloud of rocks around us. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. Okay, so we're presumably in the right place. We need one that looks like a droplet, or that has a droplet, or that something or other droplet thing something. So, let's see... Presumably, it would have to be one that we actually could nail with an arrow. <laughs> the answer is to everything. Well, darn. It's a shame I missed that. <laughs> Among the floating rocks. Okay, so it actually says a droplet, not a rock shaped like a droplet. I don't see an actual droplet. I might have to settle for a rock that looks vaguely drop-like. I don't see any of those either. I usually like to avoid spoilers, but if I'm being particularly unobservant and missing something really painfully obvious, I won't object too much if people want to point it out to me this time. I did notice there are a few that have a more water-like blue color to them. Oh, 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 never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That is nuts. Okay. <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. Now, where is the Mark of the King? Nadra's horn. There we go. Shut nope, that's Nadra's spike. There it is. That is so cool. I love it. At least I don't need to get an HDMI cord. You have one of those from your Xbox? Nice. I guess I should... Sidon will want to hear about this. Yeah, let's go report back before I just go blindly jumping in. Since it doesn't look like it actually brought anything there for me to land on anyway.
Lady Yona. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak to you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh, hello there, Link. Huh. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Huh. You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle and a pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light. As I was just about to say, for a long time I have been concerned that you were holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if you and Link join your powers, I am certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true. However, uh? whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? Hmm. I, it is simply that. Huh? Really? Sludge like ambusher of Mifa Court. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon. We can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. Huh. You are right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. Link, please, I must ask that you fight at my side once more. Lady Yoda, no. <laughs> Although that would be pretty fun. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Sidon's power of water. When Sidon's aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water that blocks an incoming enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, this water will be channeled into a long-range strike. We need to get up close and personal with it. Be careful. Ow. Rude, sir. Okay, that's not doing anything. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that didn't do much either. I need a better weapon for this, I think. Um, let's, ooh. let's do this one. My royal shield. Okay, well, I don't care about the shield. Um, how about no? Ooh. How about we try that instead? Root. Oh, no, that's not going to do it. Yeah. 
Four minute warning, by the way, guys. Where'd he go? There he is. Sedan, aren't you supposed to be using your aura strike thing? Oh. Okay, that's better. Uh, let me see. We need to... How do you like bombs? He doesn't care for them. Ow. Get the frack out of here. You did it, Link. Take that foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone all right? We are unharmed. Thank goodness. Lady Yona, if something had happened to you, I... <clears throat> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiments, Adon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the falling sludge from the sky or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Adon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, of course it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. But, Sedan, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the Prince of the Zora. One day you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough. Oof. You are not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Zidane, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always do. Yes, yes. It is all right. I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I see. And there it is, clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once more losing someone I love. I... I... <laughs> you are right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear. Nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. It seems Sedan has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister Mipha, my poor tormented Sedan. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last the Sedan I know and love has come back to me. <laughs> Link, please good, take good care of my dear Sedan. He is the sun in my sky. Nice. That will work very nicely. Okay. Um, let me just take a quick look here. I need monster bits. There we go. And with that, it looks like it is about time for me to go and take a break, and I'm going to make some tea. So this will be a slightly longer break than normal, probably about six to eight minutes or thereabouts. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time. Ads are going to run, but that's okay. You will not be missing anything, because I'll just be running some clips in the meantime. So uh, I'll meet you back here in a few.
Oh, it's almost gone. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Alera, I have a special task that would be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Perfect. So you're basically saying I'm an incompetent wreck. Thanks. It seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from Blue. God. Haboob Dust Storm. From far off, people see the approaching wall of driven sand and scatter to seek safety before the scouring wind. Because this area just doesn't get enough weather hardship as it is. That's. Um... Thanks, Auto Drive. Watch out! you the clumsy one because of your inability to walk without falling on your face your helmet is now riding the elevator without you you've blown your cover the Sarians are shoot sure to shoot first and ask questions later I oh, know they failed to notice my hands maybe they won't notice my face nominal oh and look at this I'm coming up right on a shrine that's really Andy Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so great. Oh god, that's not so great. Oh boy. Uh... <laughs> Um, that that is totally a thing that works in real life by the way that's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle oh. okay well you can't stop me <sighs> <laughs> I thought Jedi were powerful. I thought I had footsteps. You can. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? Uh-oh. 
Well, it's aptly named. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do we have here? I have inventory space. I love it. My adventure is over. To whoever finds this time capsule, I've given you a few supplies to help boost your mood. Oh, that's a really awesome looking base. I like that. Thank you, anonymous player. So, I got a couple of ion cubes, a coffee americano, very nice, mixed chips. Okay, fair. Very fair. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us it's that life uh, finds a way. Emergency. What? We're being raided. Alera, Eld, Juduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. A fatal raid. Thankfully, that was seconds after I just saved the games. <laughs> Whoa, that was a shot and a half. What? What happened there? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. We'll open the portal on your mark. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell was that? Wow. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. <laughs> <laughs> Even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. 
that only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. All right. I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay, so we defeated the thing. We got the stuff. What's up, Reuben? Uh -huh. Thank you, Link. Because of you, Prince Zidane was able to further his investigation. I will not drop my guard just yet, but I know in my heart the future of the Zora is bright. Alright, let's head up to the top there. Because I think that's probably our best bet for getting over to the reservoir. What's up with you, sir? What is that? Over there, what is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared at the East Reservoir Lake. I wonder if this too is related to the upheaval. So I figure he'll probably be waiting. Yeah, it looks like he is on top of that piece of stone. Huh. So that is the clue for reaching the sky. Just now, what was that? Mm. Never mind. Now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? If I had to guess, I'd say there's a shrine down I there. Have an idea. What's that? Is he going to do the Superman thing and create a whirlpool? Yep, that's that's exactly what he's doing. It's just as I thought. I can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in, Link. Okay. Sidon of the Zora. 
Upon jumping into the whirlpool, you found a vast space filled with ancient ruins. You may find a clue about the watery bridge among them. Okay, this is nifty. Whoops. Zora Sword. Thank you. Lots of stuff for building rafts. Or bridges. Either or. Let's see how far I can get without it, though. Interesting thing. What's going on here? Hmm, okay. So that's too far away now. <laughs> Discovery. Ancient Zora Waterworks. Okay, I'm tempted to unblock that, but I want to look around a bit first in case there's anything I won't be able to find once it's opened up and water covered. Also, no. I don't want to waste my arrows. I've got more than I had, but not by that much. Shield. Off to work. Thank you so much for being here, Greeny. I appreciate it. I will catch you again soon, hopefully. 
Thank you for your assistance today. Oh, I guess... I probably want my anti-slip armor. Okay, so nothing there. This looks like a thing. What do we have over here? Oh. Lovely. What are you? Ice-like. Ice-like stone. Lysel shield. They're giving me all the shields, but I never use shields, and they're all crap compared to the shields I've already got. Oh, bubble frog. Okay, so there was nothing else here. It was literally just for the bubble frog. I mean, not that that's a waste or anything. I'm glad to have the bubble gem. I'm just a little surprised. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Zora Longsword. I can probably ditch some. Yeah, I can get rid of this one. Thank you.
What do we have here? That looks like a vertical roadway to me. I think that'll be helpful. Oh. A waterfall. A waterfall descended from the sky. Oh. Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Mm. Uh-huh. So you activated a mysterious device in the ruins. And then the waterfall appeared. Mm hmm. Mm, I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. Mm. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. Mm. Huh? It's happening again. Is someone calling to me? What is that sound I just heard? Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. Link, if you wear the Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. You must acquire said armor from Yona at Mifa Court. I must also acquire more arrows, because I don't have nearly enough for comfort's sake. I need lots more. So, before we do that... Let's go back to Zora's Domain. We're probably going to have to go to a few more places. But we'll get the armor. Hopefully she'll be willing to give it to us now, finally. And I'll see if I can stock up on some arrows as well. I might have to buy some, but uh, we'll see what happens. like mostly food stuff. That's the inn. Arrows. There we go. Oh. Oh. Hi. This will fetch a fair amount. I should be able to stock up on some arrows in a pretty good way. Oh. 
Now, I thought I had diamonds as well. I have four. Do I want to get rid of them, though? Yes. Apparently the answer is yes. I want to get rid of all of them. Okay. Nope. That'll be good. Oh. Even a Hillian could climb the resulting waterfall. Okay. So let's go talk to what's her name. Here. That's Capello. Mifa's court. Oh, back up there. Okay. Lady Yona, where would you be? You're over there. <laughs> that is the first time in far too long that I've seen my dear Sedan wildly charging in and exclaiming with gusto. That is the Sedan I know. Sir Link, please take good care of him, as I know you always do. Uh, armor? Or did he just mean that I needed the one piece of the armor? I guess there's no reason the one piece that I've got shouldn't allow me to do the thing. So then, what we need next is... Maybe we'll go to Lookout Landing and we'll start hitting up stores and we will start hitting up stables as well because uh, Beetle will always have arrows. I'd like to have minimum 100 arrows by the time I go up the waterfall. Oh, while I'm here... Nice. Go and bring peace to the world. Okay. Now let's check the store. Oh, they've got hot no cheese now. That's fun. Oh. 
Oh, they have more armor now, too. Eight hundred. Oh, that's fun. Okay, but that that's fine. I'm not looking to buy armor right now. Let's go to Wetland Stable. Beetle, sir, where might you be? There you are. I would like all 20 of these. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, how many is that that I've got? Uh, 99. So, <laughs> we're almost to 100. Maybe I'll make my target 200. So that was a lot easier than I expected. We meet again, sir. Thank you, Beetle. Okay, now, next. Uh, we'll go here to my favorite stable. Beetle, where are you, sir? There you are. Another couple of shrines and we should be at 200 and then some. Or, uh, <laughs> not shrines. Stables, I mean. So where's the Zora stable? Or the uh, Dorito stable, I mean. We'll head up that way.
Hey, Zerpy, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay, 184. <laughs> Actually, the Dorito stable is not a stable anymore. That's the newspaper. So maybe we'll go to the Tundra stable instead. He is happy to help me. But then again, I've unloaded a crap load of cash onto him in exchange for all of the arrows at numerous shrines already. So he probably sees me as his best customer at this point. How's your Friday going, Zerpy? I hope all is well with you. Anything going on this weekend? That's an open question for anyone who feels like answering, by the way. Beetle, where are you, sir? Do a little more cooking while I'm here. Full recovery. some of that. <laughs> Tough fruit and mushroom mix. Defense up. some mighty stuff. Oh well. Maybe not. I'll just use that. <laughs> Full recovery plus five. Very nice. That'll probably do. Beetle? Where the heck is he? Oh, there you are. Catching up on anime, buffs and food seem to be very important in this game. They can be. They can be. I find it a lot more important for the healing aspect than the buff aspect, but the buffs are definitely handy. Two oh nine. There we go. Okay. Now let me see. It's actually it's four o'clock. I've only got a couple of hours, which is lots of time. But it's taken a number of hours to do each of the other temples, so I don't know that I necessarily want to go and start the water temple right now. I think we might go back and start working on shrines again for the time being. Maybe even do a little bit of light root stuff. And then we'll probably do the water temple first thing tomorrow. And then after that, we can maybe see if I can finally figure out how to clear the Gerudo Desert of the sandstorm so we can visit the city and do some stuff out there, too. Oh, he said he was cold. He 
is stubborn, though, and he goes where the customers are. Oh, you know what we can do? I haven't managed to get into the Great Hyrule Forest yet. Yeah, I think we're going to try it, Zerpy. I think we're going to try it. Let's just have a look, because I think we have to go down and come back up again. We haven't gone down there either. That's... Probably. I, I, I've been kind of assuming this entrance down here is where the end game happens. Okay, so we won't want that one. I think we want that tower there, actually. You've been really engrossed in late 1800s to early 1900s history. What uh, what region, Zerpy? That's a fairly specific range. What's got you so interested in it? American, interesting. Just changes your perspective on things. That's a good way to look at it. You know what? I think I see something I need down there. I might be wrong. Oh. I am wrong. That's the fairy. I mean, I do need that too, but it's not what I was thinking it was. It's so different, but if you were in the time period talking to someone, it would be no different than today. Yep, true. Maybe some minor differences in what you were talking about specifically, but yeah. Minchi Grove. Aha. Uh -huh. There is a light route we haven't been to over there. Okay, so that one is off in that direction. And that is precisely where we want to be going. Okay. Oh. Well, that's handy, but not quite what I had in mind.
Oh, there's two of them. Well, that's interesting. These trees are going to come alive and attack, aren't they? Oh, you look familiar. I remember trees like that from Breath of the Wild. Korok Grove. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. No, no. No! No, thank you, sir. Don't like that. <laughs> That's not cool. Okay. That's pretty heckin' awesome. That's a big area we just revealed. Five minute warning, guys. Five minutes, and we will have another break. All right. So, where was that next light route? That was in blue. So that's directly up that way, but there's kind of a wall in the way. Let's see if we can make our way around. Also, I can't help but notice that the roots of the great tree from the Korok Forest are down here. That's pretty cool. What is that? Oh, shoot. Rude. Not today, sirs. Oh, nope. Uh, do I have anything I can get rid of? I probably want to keep that. Okay. Three minutes. 
I'm trying to keep an eye on things. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I was hoping there would be something like this. That's going to take us directly up into the Great Korok Grove. So that's perfect. And we've got a light route right here, so we can teleport directly back, too. Even better. Okay, so there's got to be two more light routes in the area then. That's interesting. Okay, guys. Not sure what those are supposed to be, but that's all right. Let's head to the surface. Korok Forest, Great Hyrule Forest. Deku Tree. Great Spirit of Korok Forest. They're uncommonly quiet. Looking so good in here. Deku Tree Chasm. Oh god. Oh, this is the worst. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. And with that quick escape, I will be back in just a moment because ads are in progress. So if you need to get up, go grab some food or a drink. Now's a good time. Be back here in a few. Oh. Um. I forgot about these. 
these guys too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. That'll buff out. It's not a problem. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then I used my cleverness to hide. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out there. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Don't hunt Loki. Oh my god, she. She hunted Locust and killed her. That doesn't look scary at all. I expect there's going to be zero problems with this. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Right. Back to the Great Korok Forest we go. Hopefully I don't actually have to defeat that frickin' thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, from the way it's presented and located, I kind of suspect that maybe I do. Mosinokir Shrine. Swing to hit. Wouldn't know how to judge that, Grogu. It depends on what you mean by completed. I intend to complete all of the different shrines and the temples, and of course, defeat Ganon. As far as that goes, I'm done more than half of the shrines. And I've done almost half of the temples.
Yeah, roughly, Grogu. Thereabouts. I have no intention whatsoever of attempting to do, like, um... 100% of the... Whatchamacallits. The Korok seeds and all that. Okay. Now, what do we have here? It looks like that's going to slide. Okay. Whoops. Back here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm working at cross purposes here. I don't know if I have to just touch it with something. I don't 
think that's gonna do it. See, I can't get a really good look at the distance there. How close it's getting, how close it needs to be. see a few things. I don't think I can attach that to here, but I can sort of put it up top for all the good that does me. It does occur to me, though. good this is. Is that going to stay? No. Okay. I don't like how lopsided that is. try.
now it's getting dragged down. Ugh. Another idea. It's going to be too long, the chain won't reach. Let's try it without. Don't know if that's gonna hold. We will find out. Oh, damn it, it fell. prevent it from sticking, unfortunately.
damn it. Higher up. Well, I am tired enough that I'm not going to hold myself to the standard of working smarter. I try that most of the time. I don't think it's happening today. <laughs> What was the name of this one again? Swing to hit. That kind of implies that pinning it in place is really not required and probably won't work. That was not what I had in mind. Whoops. This is frustrating as heck. Thank you, Ben. I do have an idea. It's probably a dumb idea, but I do have an idea.
<laughs> well, that's the general line of my thinking, at least. Even from directly above it, I can't get there. Oh, that's a pain. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think that's actually going to move because I haven't moved it recently enough. At least this gives me a good look at what we're working with here. Oh, okay. So there's not a lot of space for it to swing. I'm open to suggestions at this point. I have no doubt I'll get it eventually, but I would like to get it sooner than that. I said suggestions, not hints, Grogu. I don't want hints. I want answers.
You know nothing. Okay. Fair enough. I am very curious. Okay, so I can do that. Might not have been the best idea, but I assume usually these things are designed so that you... Okay, interesting. It gave me a new box. Also a dumb idea, but we'll see if it can maybe work. So close. Ha! Okay, that was incredibly cheesing, but at least I did it. very curious to see how other people have completed this shrine, actually. There's probably got to be a more elegant, much more simple, much more obvious way. Light of Blessing. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Ooh, okay. So we can't seem to do a whole lot down here yet. Oh, there's another shrine nearby. Oh, I guess that would make sense that there would have to be several of them because we've got light roots down there too. So there's going to be one somewhere in here. And in here. Oh, 
Well, looks like we had a meteor fall in there. Oh, oh, whoops. 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 Right. Can't do that. <laughs> Okay, so we can't get to the other shrines from here. Maybe then we just go back into the Underdark and we will see about getting the other light routes. I don't know the rules of traveling the Great Forest in this one. It wasn't too bad in uh, Breath of the Wild, but it's apparently quite different down here. So where are we going? We want to go here. So that's our sort of pinky purple one. That's right there. That's easy enough. Nice. Oh, doubly nice. That was the specific light route I was looking for that would light up more of this area here. That's really awesome. Okay. That's great. That's perfect, actually, is what that is. Okay, so let's go for the blue one next, and that one will be up this way. I'm sure running through here is not going to be a problem whatsoever. We're definitely not going to run into any more of the gloomy hands of doom. Today, sirs. Oh, wait, key swings. I needed those. We need to go visit one of the fairies, too, uh, right after we get this uh, light route, I think. That means I can do some serious upgrading. today.
Uh, I hate how much gloom there is. I don't like it. This looks like the point to cross at, though. God, crap is everywhere. You know what? It doesn't look like it's here. So I'm just going to go up and around. It's a bit of a long way, but it looks like it's going to be a lot easier. I am a little bit terrified that if I try to cross through... Even though there are some areas that are not quite as thick as others, that looks like a perfect spawning ground for the gloomy hands of doom. So, screw that. We're not doing that. Or I could make a car. That would also solve the problem. Uh, except they don't really give you wheels here. Okay, never mind that. Good. Okay, they, those guys are wandering around right there. We want to kind of hug the edge of the gloom over here. Avoid them. Go up that hill there. Yep, they gave up already? Okay. That's fine. And it's that simple. There we go. Now I can't help but notice there is a Colosseum over there. Wouldn't mind taking a quick... Okay, this is definitely going to be Yiga. Let's not do that. What is that? Okay. This is definitely leading to the Colosseum, isn't it? <laughs>
Man, they noticed me. Okay, this is not my best weapon. Get out of my face, guys. Forest Coliseum, Great High Ruled Forest Depths. Ow, you jerk. Oh, you... Nice shot. Ooh. I'll take that. Okay. Not too impressed with this iron block hammer. It's not the best hammer I've ever had, I gotta say. Might be partially at least because I'm using a, a sword as the base. But regardless, not a huge fan. Lionel Boomerang. This is going to be a terrible mistake, isn't it? Got you now. You must be Link. You're as foolish as you are greedy. Who would have left precious bananas just lying around? You walked right into our trap. Mm. All right, introductions. <clears throat> Listen and tremble in horror, watch and quake with fear. For we are the unstoppable force sworn to eliminate you and Princess Zelda too, led by the indomitable Master Koga. Mm. We are the Yiga clan. Mm. And now... You're about to pay the price for your foolishness. Let me introduce you to our debt collector. Born of the depths, lurking in the darkness of the Forest Coliseum, <laughs> be oh. 
Oh, he knocks. Wait, that's okay. I mean, that's probably bad enough, but at least it's not a Lionel. Oh. Well, that sucked. I have no anti-gloom food. you kindly. Well, that wasn't so bad. He knocks toenail. He knocks guts. Nice. Black he knocks horn. Could have been a lot worse. I should have picked up the bananas along the way. I didn't realize they were all going to disappear. That's unfortunate. Korok Mask. A mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when one is nearby. It's a rather rare find. The only other Colosseum I've done so far in this playthrough was one where I had to go through several successive waves. So I kind of assumed he was the first wave of several. Really glad that he was just the one and only thing I had to fight. Oh man, they got rid of all the bananas. That really is unfortunate. Okay, well... That is a rather huge amount of progress made. You know, this looks very much like there should be another shrine here. Oh, there is. So there's two in close proximity there. I don't know how you're going to get into this one. That looks like it should be walled off entirely, unless maybe there's an area you can get to. Like, that should also be walled off. But you can kind of crawl through there, because they've chipped into the wall. I wonder if there's a similar area here. It doesn't look like there's anything along that edge, but maybe in here? I don't know. Interesting. So it looks like there should be a shrine right here. Let's go to the surface and see if we can't find that one. Now, we do have ads beginning in about two minutes, and this is going to be our final break of the night. It is Friday, which means I can't go till 6.30. I've got to go and make dinner and stuff. Okay, where is it we're going? We want light blue. So that's got to be a cave one. So, uh, yeah, I've got to go by about six, you know, ten to six or thereabouts. 
So this upcoming break, which will be starting very shortly, will be the last one of the evening. And then we will carry on with more of this tomorrow. Let's see if we can maybe do the water temple now that we've opened that up. Or at least potentially opened it up. We've got to get up there and find out, but I didn't want to start that today. Not with so little time, because uh, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think the wind temple took like four hours, but the fire temple certainly took quite a while. I suppose it's possible I could have finished the water temple by the end of stream today, but I just wanted to be sure, you know? So we'll do the water temple tomorrow. And then see where we get to. Hello, sir. I would like all of your arrows, please. What? <laughs> he just threw his buddy. Ow. Rude. Excuse me. You are not a team player, sir. I approve, but at the same time, I'm a little horrified. Ow. Okay. We will carry on when I get back from break, so if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. Starfield's gonna come out, and every other game in existence is going to stop... But clearly, I need to rethink my addition of anti-gravity mods. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Technically correct. The best type of correctness. That is correct. Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. <laughs> what is? Studious, what is? Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> what the? What? What is going on? We did it, guys. We made it to WoW in the 80s. <laughs> oh my god, that timing was amazing. It looked like she fell on the wolf and crushed it. Whoa, that was a shot and a half. What? What happened there? Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tunipudu. Rana no prata dung no sercha. Itchua penki. You fool. 
I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Am I being attacked by chickens? I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Wait, is that supposed to be Douglas Adams? Oh my god. It's Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. Oof. Oh. Shh. What the hell, game? Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. Oh, that didn't work. Try again, will ya? Okay, I am back. Let's get back on track here. We need to find this temple. The shrine, I mean. Wasting arrows at this point. Now, where'd the buddy go? Oh, he must be up here. Take it. Oh, whoops. Nearby down below. Okay, so we're looking for a cave. See if we can find a good spot to spot caves from. here.
Except I don't see any of the uh, cave bunnies around. Oh. Oh. Well, well, well. Thank you. I'll head down there in just a moment. That looks very dark. All right, fine. really down there? Okay. Ah, uh, sounds like we're not alone. Looks like what I'm interested in. Knight's Broadsword. Okay. Um... I hate to do it. I think I'm going to have to take out more Zonai devices. Fine. One fan, one control stick. Take it. Nope, 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 nope. Want rid of that first. Ooh. 
Ten Matin Shrine. Salt and flint. Really? No luminous stone from that one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that was it. Okay. Raru's blessing it is. Another large zone I charge. Excellent. <laughs> Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing. One more, and I get another heart. Excellent. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Got that guy there we could take out. Stop hiding. Was easy enough. Knight's bow. Perfect. Now, is there anything else we desperately need to do around here besides collect stuff? I think it's mostly just collect stuff. feel like going fishing. I think we'll just head out now. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. Interesting that there's a light route here, but it's associated more with the tower. I wonder if that means there is actually a shrine here as well. There is a cave here. Lindor's Brow Cave. I think there could be both. Let's go see. It doesn't look like I finished the cave, so who knows what might be inside it. Yep. Yep. There is definitely a shrine nearby. So let's see if we can't find this cave. Oh, I went the wrong way. got to be down here, right? I actually remember passing up this cave. Shrine's right there. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh. Phantom Ganon. Oh, jeez. Um... Oh. 
least he doesn't seem to do gloom damage. He just does lots of regular damage. Okay, I'm thinking maybe a weapon with better reach is a better idea. Let's try the beam emitter spear. That's not doing a lot. How about this? Okay. That's got some decent damage. I think I'd like to heal now, please. Ow. Rude. Ow. Rude. Ah. Gloom Sword. This slender sword has an ominous presence. It is said to end the life of anyone it touches. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder? I don't love that. <laughs> Demon King's Bow. I can definitely get rid of the Boko Bow. Well, that's the first time I've taken out one of those gloomy Hands of Doom things. I was a lot more inclined to go for it in this instance than I was at the uh, Great Deku Tree route. Because we have a lot more room to maneuver around here. Quarters were pretty tight down in the other area. See a bubble frog. the bubble frog. <laughs> then we go up here and then we do the shrine. Taki Haban Shrine. I'm not terribly surprised. 
Rahu's blessing. Welcome back, Sketchy. Another large zone I charge. Excellent. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. So how's your weekend looking, Sketchy? I hope all is uh, coming together for it. If you've got plans. Or even if you don't. Oh, perfect. We can end with a brand new heart. That's awesome. Amazing. Alright. No plans this weekend? Everything's been normal? That's not necessarily a bad thing. Excellent. There we go. Let's head home, and I will grab myself a new heart. One more day of work? Oh, that sucks. Do you only get the one day for the weekend, or do you get Monday off? Sunday and Monday are your off days? Okay. That's not so terrible. Alright, guys. This is probably a perfect point at which to end. We've got plenty of time to do our raid, go uh, pay a visit to somebody else, and it's a good point in the, uh, in the game. We've got our heart. We did some shrines. I killed my first Phantom Ganon. There we go. So uh, let's uh, let's see where we can head off to. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. It's been a really fun day. We're getting so close to the release of Baldur's Gate 3. I can't wait. That's going to be great. All right, folks. Let's see what we got here. Rhubarb is on playing something called The Last Door, and it looks like she's just getting her stream started. 
Um, <laughs> Fox Queen is playing Final Fantasy 16. Kismet is playing Satisfactory. A lot of people playing Satisfactory lately. Katie Bentz is on playing Oxenfree 2, Lost Signals. I was watching Ashlina play that the other day. It actually looks really good. I might have to play Oxenfree in the second one, too. Smashley is playing some Star Citizen. Katie Peters Plays is playing Dave the Diver. Nalvara's on. She's just chatting. Oh, and it's her birthday. I think we might go visit Nelv. She's probably not going to be on for too, too much longer, but uh, I think we should go visit her. But other options, Sailor B is on playing something called Killer Frequency. But yeah, I think, let me just make sure Nelv isn't actually ending for a birthday stream. I think we should go. Yeah, I do have a little bit of an ad to wait through. Just a little over a week. Oh, it's closer to two weeks, isn't it? It's only the 21st. Yeah, it's like two weeks away. Close to. A week and a half. Okay, it looks like she's still actively streaming and she's opening birthday presents, so I think we're going to go visit Nelvara. All right, guys, let me get you her link. Nelv has been a friend for a good long time. I've been watching her stream for ages. We've raided her before. She's raided us before. I haven't really traditionally gotten to raid her very often because she's very much a daytime streamer, but that's not so much a problem anymore because I am too. So... Uh, that is her link. I will get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to uh, copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Nell's channel, see what's going on with the birthday stream. I will catch you guys hopefully over there in a few minutes and, of course, uh, back here again tomorrow for some more, most likely, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. And, uh, yeah, so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now.